is the Director of Programming of Paley Center, Rene Rios. How so, are you doing today? I'm terrific. It's so great to have you here. Nice to meet you. What's the founding story of Paley Center? Well, you know, we've always seen the Paley Center, if, if you love television, we've always seen the Paley Center mm -hmm. as, like, you should think of it as a second home. Mm -hmm. And our founder, William S. Paley, who was also the founder of CBS Television, thought of it the same way. Mm -hmm. You know, he was in his offices at CBS back in 1975, the year that we were founded. Mm -hmm. And there was a man going by his office with a crate of tapes and films. And he said, where are you going with that? And uh, the gentleman said, you know, we have to clear out room, mm -hmm. so we're just throwing these shows away. And he said, well, you can't do that. And it made him realize that television's history, all these fantastic shows, mm -hmm. had to have a place where they could be archived and the public could enjoy them for years and years. So that's how we got started. I see a lot of typewriters here. <laughs> what is this about? Exactly. This is one of the many exhibits that we have throughout the year. This one currently is a collection of typewriters mm -hmm. that is uh, from the LA Police Commissioner Steve Soberoff. And he gathered typewriters that were owned by significant figures in history. Mm -hmm. And we have, like, right over there, you'll see a typewriter that belonged to John Lennon of the Beatles, and he wrote the song Imagine on that typewriter. Oh, my God. It's kind of incredible. <laughs> and you also get to see the history of, like, how typewriters look. Like, we have this one right here. You guys do everything. That uh, belonged to one of the great, you know, film stars, Shirley Temple, who also, she was a child star in the 1930s and also had a television show in the 50s. And she had this beautiful little white, very stylish typewriter. It looks, it looks yeah, kind of modern even for, and the green for today. Button. Exactly. <laughs> so you can experience that here for free at the Paley Center in Los Angeles. And we also have more exhibits coming up. One um, features Jim Henson's 60th anniversary, the great puppeteer who brought us the Muppets and so many Sesame Street and so many great shows. Paley Fest is our most famous festival, and um, every year we host Paley Fest Fall TV Previews, where we premiere all the new television shows that are going to be on ABC, CBS, the CW, Fox, and NBC, and Univision throughout the year. Uh, this year we had Ricky Martin here, which was really fun. We had the cast of um, NCIS LA and CSI, so there's great stuff all the year at Paley Fest. This is our, uh, our beautiful, it's called the John H. Mitchell Theater here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. and we host so many live events. We live stream our panels. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have 100,000 people watching mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. But if you're here, you're one of the lucky 150 yeah. to be close to your favorite stars. The latest exhibit in Haiti right now is the Jim Henson's Turkey Hollow Rediscovering Monsters and Magic which will feature photography, original sketches from the handsome characters, and the actual puppet in the film.